Hello, this is your daily devotion for Friday, January 8th, and our reading this morning comes to us from Matthew, the 24th chapter, the 36th verse. Jesus said, No one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. That day, that hour, of course, is the end times, the end of the world. The second coming of Jesus, the time when this world passes away, the new world descends, the time of the final judgment, however you want to look at it. And that moment has been for many, many, many years, generations, even a couple of millennia now, a source of obsession and consideration for Christians who have generally always believed that the times they were living in were the end times. Some people claim that they can figure it out that they can look at the daily news and lay it over against uh, prophecies from Scripture and somehow deduce that the time is real close now, that this is it, that this thing, this person is the beast, this person is the Antichrist, this is the mark of the beast, etc., etc., etc. And now it's coming. And you just really have to wonder how they can know When Jesus said, even he doesn't know, it's mystifying. It's puzzling. And as is made clear to us elsewhere in Scripture, it's not for us to know. Nor is it for us to be concerned about. We should live our lives every day as though it could be the last or our last. Because it could be. The time to be prepared for the end of the world is now. Not later when somebody points you to a list of clues, but now. It's enough to know that one day we face God in judgment. And if we believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, then we have eternal salvation through the grace and mercy he came to impart. And if we don't, we don't. But figuring it out, No one will ever figure it out. Many have tried. Many have predicted. And one thing remains true. So far, every last one of them has been wrong. Meaning that if anyone ever does conclusively figure it out and say, it'll happen on this day at such and such a time, and it actually does, it's more likely to be a coincidence than an accurate prediction. Don't get sucked into the endless loop of end times worrying. Worry about this time. Worry about what you're doing now. Not about what you will do then, but about what you're doing now. And keep your focus on God. Let us pray. Forgive us, God, for obsessing over things that are far above our pay grade, far beyond our ability to know, comprehend, or understand. And forgive us for speculating about something that even your own son doesn't know about, namely the time when it all ends. Help us instead to live every day, ready, to be prepared to meet you always, to understand that our hope lies not in our own righteousness, but in your mercy, as revealed and mediated through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Save us from all the dangerous areas, and instead teach us to follow and trust, and to always be ready. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you again soon.